Well, a lot of people here made the joke, how many bunk beds do you have? Yeah. So, oh! Selection Sunday, y'all. YouTube was good, man. Quick little fit check. You feel me? This is Michael Green III, aka MG3, and we back with another video. We back. It's Selection Sunday. We about to see who we play today, when we play, and where we play at. Man, it's going to be a great day. It still don't feel real. Like, it, it still don't feel real. We champs. Y'all done seen the previous vlog. We done won the championship. And man, so this don't feel what's good, y'all. What's up? Good. How you? Doing good. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good. <laughs> Michael Green. Oh, nice to see you. 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 Yeah. Okay. I don't know names. Thirteen, thirteen, like me. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Man, bro, we currently got the best record in the country right now, thirty-one and three. It's good, my boy. How you feeling? How you doing, bro? I'm good, bro. <laughs> Man, walking in now. Y'all gonna see what's next, man. I appreciate everybody who's watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Look at my boy JT. Yeah. My dog. My dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, it's me. Pull up. Oh. He keeps talking about, hey, we're going to see what we're going to play. He don't want to. Hey, hurt him. Hey, hurt him. That's how you get it. Hey, hurt him. 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 Let's go pee, let's go pee. We're going to pee always. Always. Drink always. I'm going to pee. I'm already knowing you there. Like, I know when you're here, but you don't want to give me that. I said no more. I said no more. I said no more. Go to the vlog. Yo. Yo, y'all see my dog, Pope? Hey, we back at it. Soul Signs MG. Crazy dude. Yo. 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 Man, bro, we done made it. We done made it, bro. All these years of college basketball, bro. It was fun. A night like this, election Sunday, bro. Feels good, bro. Gotta give thanks to God always. Always, man. It's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. Man, bro. If y'all did know, I don't think I told y'all, I had to go back home for a few days right after we won the championship for my aunt's funeral back home in New York. And I just got back yesterday, feel me? Worked out yesterday to have practice today with the team and feel me, get back in shape, get back to hooping speed, you know, like, get back to it. Say what's good to the vlog. Say what's good to the vlog, eh? Hey, what y'all load over there? Huh? What y'all load over there? You about to get ready, you about to go over there right now. Tell the, tell the cameraman, come in. Go ahead, go ahead, come closer. He said get closer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. Hey, yo, sir. We've been through hell and back. Niggas don't know about 10 and 10. Make sure you put that in there. On me. <laughs> made it out, bro. We all made it out. <laughs> we made it out on me, we did, bro. For sure. Hey, man, bro. Show the shuttle miss right here. Shuttle miss. So this, uh, I'm gonna hit you, man. I'm gonna hit you. Yeah. So this right here is a uh, JMU Dimer Wall. So each Dimer is three assists. You get what I'm saying? So Fab finished with 29, I finished with 25. 
And as y'all can see the numbers right there, but me and Fab was the two highest, but to get a dimer, you have to get three assists. So like, if I finish the game with six assists, that's two dimers, you get what I'm saying? Or if I finish with nine assists, that's three dimers. Facts. And this right here is, is beast mode. This something we do where offensive rebounds. So this is everybody who crashed. Obviously my name is not on here, I'm the PG, I gotta get back. <laughs> But this is everybody who crashed the glass, and TJ led us with 24, and then Ray had eight, the second highest. And this is every three rebounds, three offensive rebounds, pardon me, every three offensive rebounds. So you get three offensive rebounds, that's one beast mode. Six, that's two, you know what I'm saying? So we just, we just, for me, that's how we keep each other accountable. For me, us as the guards, we mainly on top. You know, and this is how we keep track of how we how we doing our job, you know, and, and, and staying productive out there. Next clip y'all see is probably us out there on the court, either walking out there or celebrating, bro. Right? trending in the right direction, but they got an interesting matchup coming up, partner. Let's see who it is. The 12 seed, James Madison, 31 and three. One of four teams with at least 30 wins in the field, and this team is, has a dynamic duel in Terrence Edwards Jr. and TJ Bickerstaff. Excellent defensive team. That will be a heck of a matchup I, and a tough one for the back. I spy a 12-5 upset coming here. I'm taking the Dukes in this one, everybody. Yeah. I don't got enough. I don't got enough. We gotta figure it out. I'll figure it out. It's like a lot. Hey, when we win, we gotta play Duke too. Hey, let's do it. I need, I need my rematch on uh, Filipowski. Yeah, that's personal. He tried to do a dirty play on me, bro. Yeah. I said he tried to trip, bro. No, he tried to Remember the video that just went viral? He tried to trip, yeah, bro. He, he tried to play dirty. Yeah, I know. He, I can tell he a dirty type nigga. I gotta get him back, bro. We could get, bro. We could. Oh, we will. Yeah, we will. We we will. I mean, we gonna get them. We not scared of nothing, bro. We gonna get them for sure. Man, let me get this trophy, bro. T got it, T got it. I ain't held this shit. I ain't really held it. You ain't really hold it? No. How it feel? Pause. Pause. Yeah, we back at the crib. It's up. I'm hanging out with my friends. That guy ain't. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Set some up, niggas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, me? That's not crazy. That's crazy, bro. I swear to God, nigga. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. It don't feel real, bro. This year, bro. Bro, it does not feel real, bro. T no, bro. What the fuck? What's the odds we just end up in fucking? They know, bro. The basketball guys know. Oh, <laughs> 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 me, nigga. 
nigga. We in New York. Crazy. We in New York. About to get crazy. Outside. In three, two, and one. James Madison basketball now knows its fate in the big dance as the Dukes are off to Brooklyn as a 12 seed to take on the five seed Wisconsin on Friday. And we are joined by a Bronx native. Here's Michael Green, graduate student for James Madison. Well, Mike, thanks so much for taking the time. Your reaction to going back close to home. Of course, it's, it's surreal. Like, it, it's crazy. It feels great. It's amazing. I know everybody I know gonna be there. It, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Well, a lot of people here made the joke, how many bunk beds do you have? Yeah, so, yeah. how many do you have available? <laughs> I don't got enough for everybody, but <laughs> We're gonna figure out some space to make sure everybody feel like they're at home, for sure. That's awesome. So how many people would you estimate you'll have at Barclays? 50, 50 to, to 100 for real. Wow. It's, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be packed for sure. That's awesome. And yeah. Any good uh, food recommendations for people when they make the trip? Uh, you know, I'm from the Bronx. I'm not really from Brooklyn and like, I've been in Brooklyn a lot, but not enough to give you full recommendations, but we'll figure it out for okay. sure. Okay. Now, growing up, had you ever gone to any Nets games there? Yeah, of course. I've been to some Nets games. You know, I was recently just at the the Barclays, too, to watch my boy play. So, so yeah, I'm familiar. I've also played in there before, so, yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. So, you know, I'm curious just overall when you get the opportunity to be in this arena, this selection show, like, yeah. what was it like? I mean, I know it's a short amount of time. You were the second regional to be released, but, but what was it like just in the lead up? Man, it, it's been, like I said before, it's been surreal. Like, it, it, it doesn't feel real. All of this has been a blur. And, and it's just, I give thanks to God, first and foremost. You know, like, I've been having a lot going on just the past few months. And, like, recently, like, last week, my aunt passed away. Oh, and it's just it's that. just been a lot. Like, you know, and, and she's been in the hospital. Been in the hospital the last few months, and, and we've been with her. My family been with her. They've been, you know, keeping me updated. And i just been, you know, I'm trying to play for the guys and just stay positive always and just... Play, you know what I'm saying? Do my thing and just have fun. And I know that this is what she would want. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy how we playing in the Barclays, in New York. Like, it, it's crazy. I know all my family going to be there. And, like, this is, there's nothing more they can ask for. You know what I'm saying? Tournament game in the Barclays. Like, it, it's crazy. And I just give thanks to God. Well, with this sudden tragedy that you and your family are experiencing, just how important has it been to, to be around your teammates and your coaches, this family that JMU has become? Yeah, it's been great. You know, it's been great. They made me feel like home. They all, you know, told me everything gonna be good. And they they, they didn't even know. Like, I, cause I didn't tell nobody. I'm not the person, type of person to just speak up. I didn't tell nobody. Like, it's just something I've been dealing with. Like, you know, she's been in the hospital since like January and stuff, but it's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm past it now. And, and everything happens for a reason, you know, and, and she's in a better place and She's just, I know she's watching over me, just smiling. So it's not much more I can say. It's, it, it's a great feeling. It's a well, great feeling. We're glad you're, you're doing okay. Yep. Obviously a, a big, exciting event. This Wisconsin team, obviously they're a five seed for a reason. They're pretty yep. good. You're gonna get into the film and all that stuff in practice coming up. But yep. this is a team that just lost in the Big Ten Championship game today. Uh, what, what excites you most about this matchup? It's, it's gonna be fun. You know, we the underdogs and we ain't been the underdogs all year since the first week. You know, probably besides like the App State, but other than that, like, it's gonna be fun. You know, when we play against teams like that, we always got that edge, and and we we know what it takes, and it's gonna be a fun game in the Barclays. It's gonna be fun. You like holding that trophy, by yeah, the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this been my best friend ever since we got there, so <laughs> yeah, for sure. You want to add a second trophy, right? Though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can hold two of them. Come on. I'm we got another hand right here for both. We good. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we are looking forward to seeing you play on Friday, Mike. Thanks so much for taking the time and best of luck. Thank okay? you. I appreciate it, man. You're the best. You're the best. Tell me your just initial reaction to going back somewhere so close to home to play. It felt surreal. Like yeah. it, it, it's unbelievable. You know, like I get to have family who hasn't seen me play in college come to watch me play and. For this to happen for my last year of college and everything that's just been going on for me the past few months, it feels great. Mm -hmm. It feels great. Absolutely. Um, how much of a confidence boost was that conference tournament for you? Not just because of your play, but you and Xavier both, just the point guard play elevating to where it did. I mean, we still haven't even played our best basketball, which is, which is like something that some people wouldn't even be able to believe, but like, it feels good for both of us. You know, like, we've been playing well and all it is now is just staying on track, leading the team to 
keep advancing. Uh, absolutely. Um, how are you? Are you going to embrace this role? The role you've taken on coming off the bench the second half of the season, any different being back at home, uh, being in the NCAA tournament, just sort of taking it as confident as you can like you have been? I mean, for sure, I embrace it. You know, I'm, I'm mature enough to understand to understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. not saying it's been easy, but you know, I'm mature enough to understand it. We made it this far, so mm-hmm. we've been winning games, so why would I complain? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, all right, and well, that's all I got for you. Thank you very much. Hey, appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate you, bro. Man, bro. Did Shane get a chance to talk to you? Who, nah. Okay, Shane Williams. Yeah. How you, bro? How's it going, man? Good. So, you've probably been asked this by everybody else. Your initial reaction when you see it's Brooklyn and yeah, like, it, it felt great. It's, it's a surreal feeling, you know. Like I get people and family who hasn't seen me play since like high school, hasn't been able to come watch me play in college. They able to watch me play now, so it feels great. There's been guys like in recent years too who have like been New York guys that go out of state or wherever to play, and then they mm-hmm. go in the NCAA tournament and make that run like through Brooklyn. Like, yeah, I'm thinking blanking on the guy's name from K State a few years oh, ago. Oh, Marquise Noel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he I had mean, a crazy that. that flash into your mind a little bit when yeah, you really yeah. think about that like yeah it, it, it's great it's you feel me it's gonna be fun i know it's gonna be a fun game and we underdogs so we'll, we'll see what happens yeah um did you have any like kind of sense like as as they started reeling off some teams and they get to another like 512 game did you kind of have a sense like okay this is looking like it might be it yeah so once we went to the to the to the other side i figured we was we was one of those teams that we'll be playing in Brooklyn, so. Yeah. Um, but beyond that, like, just to get there, like, you know, I mean, you ask TJ the same thing. You come here for that fifth year, like, you had to have some of these things in mind. Like, this is what for we're sure. here for. Like, sure. to finally get it, see your name up there, like, just what's that moment like? To... It, it's surreal. You know, we've been through a lot, and I have myself as well, just these past few months, and it, it feels great. Like, this is what me, TJ, no, all of us. This is what we came here for. You know what I'm saying? We, it was nothing else we expected besides winning the Sunbelt tournament, winning the Sunbelt championship, and going to the tournament. So, yeah. it's a like, great villa. All the guys they bring out here for us are like, the guys are pretty low key. Yeah, they, yeah. They calm all the time. For sure, when, for sure. When you guys were kind of waiting, like back there to come out, or like, yeah, just, just this whole week. Like, has there been anybody like particularly amped up? Or like, man, we all been amped up. It's <laughs> yeah. been crazy. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. It's been yeah. crazy. Ever since we won, it's been wild. We all been amped up. Couldn't wait for tonight, and and it's came. So, yeah. well, what's it like to come, like, back here? I know you got a couple days off, but then you start practicing. And, you have no idea who the opponent's going to be. And like, what, what's those practices? I mean, we just focus on ourselves, those type of practices, you know, just staying sharp and just getting back to, like, all being on the same page and having that same rhythm, you know. But that's pretty much it. Nothing different. All right, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, bro. I'm about to take this to the locker room, man. No, I'm about to rain this. I'm about to rain this to New York, bro. We back home, so tournament game at NYC. It's gonna be crazy. We back home, man. Just found out we playing in New York. Man, it's gonna be fun, bro. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be lit, man. We out though, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. The word, Joe. Hey, uh, I'm gonna catch you on the next video. This is Michael Green III, aka MG3. Like, comment, subscribe, please, man. If I don't know you, if I do know you, make sure you subscribe. Drop a comment for me if you're excited. Anything, bro. We out, man. We out.